How can someone see snowflakes up close and still not believe in a creator? Watch this video and then we'll talk about it because this goes so much deeper than just frozen water. Pretty mind-blowing, right? It would be one thing if snowflakes were the only thing in nature that represent fractal patterns and symmetrical geometry, but it's not just snowflakes. It's literally everything. Once you see it, you will never stop. Plants represent it. Fruits represent it. Animals represent it. Shells, spider webs, stars. And even our DNA represents these fractal geometric shapes. The extent of which these sacred geometrical patterns show up in nature is truly magical. And we don't even know how significant it really is. But I think at one point we did. At one point we knew just how sacred, connected, and precise everything is. I guess it's just a coincidence that God said, let there be light. And the combination of sound and light appears exactly like all of these perfect fractals found in nature. Each of these patterns are a visual representation of a specific frequency. If you put sound and light together, this is what it looks like. Nikola Tesla, perhaps the smartest man and greatest inventor to have ever lived, once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. This is the man that created the radio, a tool that taps into specific electromagnetic frequencies and transmits them into sound. He knew that the whole universe was made of frequency and vibration. Every single thing in existence resonates at its own unique frequency, and that's what gives it the appearance that it has. I think our ancestors knew this, and that's why you can see sacred geometry in all of the old cathedrals and buildings. They knew the significance of the combination of sound and light, and I think they knew how to use it for our benefit. Maybe that's why they had giant bells. Maybe these bells donged at a specific frequency that healed our DNA and cured diseases. Why else would they have giant bells and buildings that represented these frequencies? Sadly, I don't think we'll ever know the truth of how deep sacred geometry really goes because somewhere along the way it was hidden from us and downplayed so much to the point that we think it's all just a coincidence. I think there are people in power that don't want us to know the truth of how significant sound really is to us. Because if we are unaware, then they can use it against us. Do yourself a favor and look into sacred geometry and cymatics because it is truly the most mind-blowing and magical aspect in all of existence. God really did make us in his image, and his thumbprint is in everything.